having cold feet, getting cold feet. Uh, okay, it's like this. So there's this big, there's this lake, and you want to go swimming in the lake. And you go, I'm going to go jump in this lake. Yeah, jump in this lake. I'm going to go swimming. But whenever you get in the lake just a little bit, you feel like, oh, it's really cold. And you jump out of the lake. So getting cold feet is when you, you have this really big decision to make, and you think, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And at the last second, you don't do it. Why? Because you got cold feet. We always use the wedding as an example. You know, tomorrow is my wedding day. Oh, I feel pretty good. Tomorrow I'm going to get married. Yeah, cool. But then tomorrow comes and suddenly you're like, <laughs> oh no, you know, you go to the wedding hall, you put your hand on the door and you turn around and you're like, nope, bye. And then your family stops you. Go, no, 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 get in there, get in there, get in there. You know, that's getting cold feet. Or another example is like, uh, say you want to you emigrate to Canada. You know, pretty big decision, right? You're going to take your whole life and move to Canada. You go through all the paperwork, you, know, you get your visa, you're driving to the airport, you say goodbye to your family, you know, and you go to the Incheon airport, and at the last second you're like, yeah, nope, and you go back. Why? Because you got cold feet. So whenever you make a really big decision, uh, you have to resist the impulse to turn back. You have to ignore your cold feet. If you want to study English, you decide to start studying English, don't get cold feet and quit before you started. Stick with it. English. 오늘 표현, get cold feet. 라는 표현입니다. Cold feet. 자, 아까 전에 피로가 설명을 했는데요. 여러분들, 차가운 물에 들어간다고 생각해 보세요. 얼음 물입니다. 자, 갑니다. 자, 갑니다. 오, 차가워. 와우. 이게 뒷걸음, 뒷걸음 치는 거죠. 자, 그, 어, 그 차가운 물에 들어간다는 것은 사실 매우 큰 결정이라고 생각하시면 돼요. 그쵸? 어, 이 다리가 동산 거일 수도 있거든요. 어, 근데 들어가는 거예요. 자, 어떤 것이 있을까, 있을 수 있을까요? 중요한 결정, 웨딩 같은 거 있죠, 그렇죠? 아니면 어느 나라에 이민을 가는 겁니다. 이런 것도 되게 큰 결정이잖아요, 그렇죠? 그런 큰 결정을 하기 전에 어, 약간 두려워하는 느낌 있잖아요, 그렇죠? 이 불안해하는 느낌. 그때 I'm getting cold feet 이런 표현, I get cold feet 이런 표현을 사용할 수 있다라고 하죠. Jim's got cold feet. What happened? 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 Jim's got cold feet. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got cold feet a few days before. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got cold feet a few days before. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got cold feet a few days before. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got cold feet a few days before. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got cold feet a few days before. Looks okay to be nervous, right? It's normal to get cold feet before your wedding. No, no second thoughts. No. Looks okay to be nervous, right? It's normal to get cold feet before your wedding. No. No second thoughts. No. Looks okay to be nervous. Right? It's normal to get cold feet before your wedding. No. No second thoughts. No. Looks okay to be nervous. Right? It's normal to get cold feet before your wedding. No. No second thoughts. No. Looks okay to be nervous. Right? It's normal to get cold feet before your wedding. No. No second thoughts. No. 영어 공부하기로 결정하셨으면요. 자, get cold feet 하지 마시고요. Jump! Jump into the ocean! Jump into the cold water! 바로 그냥 겨, 결정하시고 그냥 점프하세요. 그런 다음에 나가는 겁니다. 아시겠죠? 저희 믿고 따라오시면 됩니다. 아시겠죠? 자, 그러면 우리 또 다음 시간에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Take care!